Hello everyone, Dr. Hassan Doheed here once again with a sensational topic today, communication. And there will be so many subparts of this video that you will see gradually and you will be able to learn about communication. I will give whatever information I have acquired over the years about communication. I have been studying the topic of communication for over a decade now. And whatever I have learned, I'll share it with you today in different sections. So you will see some short videos one by one of the same session and we'll cover so many things about communication. So we start with what is communication? What is communication? Remember communication is the transfer of information, exchanging information, exchanging ideas or understanding each other in Easy words, I can say, understanding each other. If I understand you, but you don't understand me, that means I lack communication. Vice versa. If, if you understand me, but I don't understand you, then either the problem is with you or problem is with me in listening. So communication is understanding each other. If one person cannot understand, if two people are engaged in conversation, in communication, and at least one person does not understand what is being said. And there is something wrong either in the speaker or there's something wrong with the listener. That's what we'll talk about today. So we know now what is communication. Now, 80% or 85% of our success is related to communication. If we communicate well, we will be successful in our lives, in all professions, in health, relationships, spirituality, career, finance, anything you mention, Everything comes back to communication. Now, how in health? Because if somebody is telling you about how to be healthy and you don't understand him, then you fail in getting good health. Same thing with finances, same thing with career. So 85% of communication, 85% of success is communication. And the good thing about communication is it is a learnable skill. Anyone can learn communication. Whether you, whether me, anyone you can name, any person, I'm telling you, everyone can learn communication. Communication is for everyone. We all can learn. It's a learnable skill. Let me give you an example. One of the famous orator, uh, orators uh, of, uh, it's, it's a, he's, a, he's a famous personality in Greek history, Demosthenes. Demosthenes. You can Google the name Demosthenes. He was famous for his speaking. He was a philosopher. Demosthenes, it is famous for about Demosthenes that he used to put pebbles in his mouth, pebbles in his mouth and practice talking. And his goal was to speak and make other people understand despite having pebbles in his mouth. This made his communication really better and better and better. Imagine if you can learn to talk with pebbles in your mouth, how good you will speak when you don't have any pebbles. I mean, I'm just giving an example. That how people have worked hard on their communication. Demosthenes is a great example of working hard on his communication and making his way of talking better. And today we know him as one of the famous speakers, philosophers, a man in the history that we talk about today. So yes, we all can learn communication. We just need to understand what communication is and how we can improve it. Remember, it's a learnable skill. We all can become better and it becomes better with practice. So make sure you practice communication. You practice, work hard on your communication. If you don't work hard on your communication, if you don't practice communication, you don't improve communication. So yes, practice is an essential skill. We all need to practice. Now, there are components of communication. In order to communicate, what are the modes of communication? Yes, there is one way, as you can see, me talking. This is one way of communication. Most people think that just talking is communication, which is not true. Talking is not communication. Communication has four components. Speaking, listening, reading, and writing. I'll repeat again. Speaking, listening, reading, and writing. All of these four are the components of communication. We communicate through these things. And we also communicate through body language. We also communicate through our emotions. We also communicate through our, our uh, vibes that come out of us. But I'm talking about the main four ways of communicate, communication. Reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So speaking-wise, yes, you can practice talking. 
how do you practice talking? You practice in front of a mirror. You practice in front of camera. Right now, for example, I'm talking, but I'm also monitoring myself at that high, how am I speaking? Am I speaking really well or, or am I speaking not well? So yes, my own videos, sometimes I watch my own videos to see if I spoke really well today or if I did not speak well today. And when I don't feel satisfied with the way I, I have spoken in a video, I try to improve myself. I become better. I practice more. And you practice more when you are practicing in front of a mirror or practice in front of different people. Or when I'm driving, I'm talking to myself and driving, although some people will see, okay, this guy's crazy. He's talking to himself while driving. But it helps and it makes my communication better. If you notice, very rarely I will use the cliches like, uh, mm, you know, mm, those kind of cliches. The reason I don't often use them, although I'm not perfect, I still sometimes use it. We all are human beings. We all make mistakes. I'm a human being. I will make mistakes. Even in today's lecture, you will notice that I will use some cliches. But the percentage or the amount of these cliches is minimal because I have practiced so much and I keep practicing. I keep improving my communication skills. I keep improving the way I talk. I practice in front of a mirror. I practice in front of a camera. I practice in my car. I practice while jogging, while running, while exercising. I try my level best to keep myself in touch with talking and communication.